Hi, so today we're going to do a video and I'm going to show you how to add text into your photo book. So to start, we're going to select our photo book. Um, if you want to see this part a little bit slower, please view our previous video um, understanding the software. So we're just going to select our book and hit create now. I'm going to go to the editor and we are going to name our project and hit continue. Okay, so now that our project has opened, so you can see up the top here, we've got our cover and then we've got all our pages. So the pages have already been laid out with um, picture boxes and text boxes based on the coastal collection that we um, selected, but you can add and delete those as you're working through the book. So to add our pictures, we're just gonna hit this plus icon. We're gonna go through this part really quickly. So if you need to see it a little bit slower, just view our previous video adding pictures to the photo book. So all our pictures appear on the side there. Um, so now to add the pictures into our onto our page, we're just gonna drag it and drop it straight into the picture box. So now if you would like to add text to your pages, like little captions um, about the photos, if you click on this T icon here, where it's, you can add a text box. So you can move the text box. You can add it underneath or on top. You can place it wherever you like. You can drag the photos up as well to make some room. And then you can make your text box as big or small as you like. So to start typing, you would just double click inside the text box and type away. So if you highlight the text, you can now come on this side, so under the T section. So you can change your font style. So you've got lots of different font styles here. You can also add your own font as well. Um, so if you've got some font si styles that you want to add from your computer, you can just add them. All you would need to do is just close the um, close software and then reopen it again so that your um, fonts can save. Okay, you can make the font as big or small as you like as well. Um, you can auto fit it, so you can either shrink it to fit inside the box or make it bigger. Um, you've also got colors, so you can change all the colors. If you go to other, it will show you our color picker. You can go to define custom colors, and then you've got various colors here from the color picker that you can um, choose as well if you want something in particular. Um, or you've also got the basic colors here as well. So we'll just stick with black. Um, you can um, change the width of the text as well. You can skew it if you want to make it a little bit fancier or up and down. Um, you can add an outline as well to the text. You can make that outline as big or small as you like. And again, you can change the colors. And if you go to other, um, you can also add your custom colors as well. Um, you can also um, add some spacing if you want your um, text to have a little bit more spacing as well. So you can pretty much just play around with this um, and make it as big or small as you like and move that around as well. And then you can also, um, oops, let's bring that down a little bit. And then you can also align the text as well. If you create a page layout, and so if you want to use this setup throughout um, various pages, if you click on this button down here, you can save your page style and you'll just uh, name it text box with pictures. And then you will see that it will appear down here as well. So if you want to use it again on the next page, if you go down here where it says page styles and scroll all the way to the end, you'll see your page style there. So then you can just drag and drop it straight onto the page. So that way you don't have to um, keep creating it again. If you would like to do a whole page of text so you can delete your picture box, and you can just make your text box um, 
bigger if you want to do a whole page of text. Um, just be careful um, that you stay at least five to ten millimeters within the red crop line. If you go over the red crop line, um, anything over the red outline here um, may get trimmed during production. So make sure you're always well within your the red crop line. So again, just to type away. Again, if you want to change any of the colors, you can come on this side and change the font and change any of your colors as well. So if you create a whole page of text and you want to keep that same style of text throughout your photo book, another trick that you can also do as well is if you highlight the text and right click, you can click down the bottom here where it says use current style as a default text style. So if you want to use that same text throughout your whole book, if you select use current style as default, then next time when you go and type away on a different page, the text will still be there as well. So if we create a text box in there and type, you'll see that the text is the same as our default text as well. Um, so that's just some um, tips and tricks on adding text to your photo book. Um, please watch our next video where we go through adding um, pictures and text to the cover. Thank you.